the Cygnus Archive. May knowledge be our sanctuary. Object number 96, Blanche's Gifts. Object number 96 refers to a number of objects that have been gifted by Lady Blanche to her guests. While the characteristics of these gifts differ from object to object and from guest to guest, since these gifts are tailored to the individual who receives them, they all share a few common traits. To the naked eye, they may seem like ordinary objects. However, all of them have anomalous properties, which are documented in more detail below. Additionally, and as mentioned before, all of them are often given out by Blanche to guests that she finds notable. In total, six such objects were documented thus far, labeled Object 96.1 through 96.6. Object 96.1, Blanche's Books. Image Caption, one of Blanche's books, found on a desk in level 5. Object 96.1, the most common out of Blanche's gifts, is the only one that can be obtained outside of level 906. Several of Blanche's books can be found scattered throughout the back rooms, especially in shelves or other places where books are usually stored. They usually have ornate, leather covers and appear to be old but well kept. The easiest way to identify one at a glance is by the complete lack of dust, both on the cover and on the book's pages. Contents of these books may vary greatly, both in subject matter and in language. It is common to find books written in languages unknown to man. Books gifted by Blanche to guests are always written in the language that the guests are most fluent in. Blanche is known to write various things, including biographies, cooking books, and guides to the back rooms and its denizens for her guests. In order to earn one such gift, a guest must leave Blanche with a good impression of themselves. Guests who act rude or hostile won't receive instances of Object 96.1, or any other variant of Object 96 for that matter. In terms of anomalous properties, the most notable out of the object's traits is Blanche's signature. It is present in each and every one of her books, and physical contact with the signature is the only known way of reliably entering the Cygnus archive. For the best results, one should drag their finger across the signature from left to right. Doing so will teleport the individual and any others in contact with them to level 906. Those who have experienced this process have provided varied and oftentimes contradicting reports. The vast majority have described entry to the Cygnus Archive as a quick, almost instant transition, with the level they were in fading to white before transitioning to Blanche's office, while others have reported a process more akin to no-clipping. When asked about these inconsistencies, Blanche stated that, quote, the books function according to my guests' expectations, end quote. Furthermore, these books can be used to communicate through written letters with Lady Blanche herself. After writing a letter and inserting it in an envelope, place the envelope in between the pages of the book. Upon closing the book, the letter will be transported to Lady Blanche's office. Object 96.2, Moon Jewel Pendant. Image Caption, the only photographed instance of a moon jewel pendant. Moon jewel pendants are pieces of jewelry, similar to the pendant that Lady Blanche wears at all times, though they vary in size and shape. They are made of silver and feature a blue gem at the center. Moon jewel pendants are extremely rare, only gifted to Blanche's most trusted friends. Currently, only three people are known to have been granted Moon Jewel pendants, those being Blanche's protégés, Dolly and Tom Von Hadrich, as well as Meg Operative and leader of Team New Horizons, Don Marchesa. Barry's collar also contains a smaller instance of this object, and Blanche claims to have gifted one of these pendants to A River, though the means by which this gift was given are shrouded in mystery. The properties of these pendants remain mysterious. It is known that they emit a faint blue glow, and that they are extremely durable, perhaps even indestructible. 
It is worth noting that the pendant's owners seem to always be aware of the object's whereabouts. According to Blanche, these pendants facilitate the process of visiting the dreams of their owners. Further research on these objects has proven difficult due to both their rarity and the difficulty in finding those who possess them. Object 96.3 Starlight Perfume Image Caption A bottle of starlight perfume. Picture taken in level 11. Object 96.3 is a bottle of perfume identical to that usually worn by Lady Blanche. The bottle is made of crystal glass, adorned by silver filigree and blue gems. It is usually given to guests who ask about it or to those who compliment her on her choice of fragrance. It is known to smell of lavender, dry wood, and bergamot. It earned its name from the small, glitter-like particles that can be seen floating around in the perfume. Curiously, these particles vanish as soon as the perfume is applied. One of the many anomalous properties of this object. Bottles of starlight perfume contain an infinite amount of the titular substance, radiate a faint colored light that has been reported to shift depending on the owner's emotional state, and are abnormally resistant to damage, being able to withstand falls as big as 10 meters without shattering. As for the perfume itself, it does have a few odd traits of its own. The most easily noticeable is one of the perfume's calming properties. Wanderers who have tried it on have unanimously reported feeling calmer and more focused, with some even claiming to feel as though they had felt Blanche's presence. This effect has been observed to extend to nearby people and even some entities, albeit to a lesser extent. It's also been recorded that the perfume, quote, does wonders to skin care, end quote, according to Meg operative Faith Silversong. Object 96.4 Blanchies. Image Caption A drawing of a Blanchie, drawn by Dolly Von Hadrich. More formally known as Blanche's plushies, Blanchies are, as the name implies, plushies made by Lady Blanche. These plushies can have various shapes and sizes, ranging from animals to chibi versions of Lady Blanche and her guests, and are often given to children who visit the Cygnus Archive. Blanche can sometimes be seen knitting these plushies by hand. Given that the vast majority of people in possession of Blanchies are children, such as Dolly Von Hadrich or Koalis Kowalski, research on these objects has proven to be a little trickier than usual. In terms of anomalous effects, those gifted a Blanchie have reported, quote, always having nice dreams, end quote, when sleeping with them nearby, and that they have, quote, made the scary things go away, end quote, on numerous occasions. As is the case with Object 96.2, further investigation is required to determine the full extent of a Blanchie's effect. Object 96.5 Blanche's Blankets Image Caption One of the many blankets knitted by Blanche herself. Object 96.5 is the designation given to the many, many blankets woven by Blanche's hand. They are all made of moderately thick wool, though the colors and patterns may vary from guest to guest. Blanche gives out these items to guests during winter season, to guests who hail from colder levels, or to guests who complain to her about the cold in their homes. These blankets have a number of anomalous properties. Firstly, they never get dirty or damaged. Any dust, liquid, or dirt on the blanket will simply fall off, and any damage sustained by the blanket will disappear overnight. As such, these items have some use as serviceable protection, though they're no replacement for proper equipment. Secondly, they can keep anyone at a comfortable temperature by themselves, regardless of the outside temperature. For as long as the person is under the blanket, it is worth noting that the blankets will keep wanderers fresh in warmer levels too. Thirdly, they can increase or decrease in size in order to perfectly cover whoever is using them at a given time. Lastly, they are incredibly fluffy. Object 96.6 Blanche's Special Packed Lunch Image Caption One of Blanche's Special Packed Lunches belonging to a wanderer by the name of Mel Corvin. 
Object 96.6 is the most commonly gifted item out of all the variants of Object 96, being given to nearly every visitor who isn't rude to Blanche or her guests. It consists of a wooden bento box filled with a full meal cooked up by Lady Blanche herself. It includes a compartment for an entree dish, as well as another one for dessert. The box's shape, size, and color, as well as the food inside it, will all vary depending on the guest's preferences, or on their request, but it will always contain a healthy, nutritious meal guaranteed to leave you satisfied. At first glance, the food doesn't appear to have any anomalous traits, appearing to be ordinary food. Despite this, wanderers have described that Blanche's meals have an extraordinary taste to it. Blanche claims that she doesn't use any abnormal ingredients when making the food, and only attributes the extraordinary taste to, quote, many eternities of practice, end quote something that has been confirmed after extensive analysis of the ingredients and methods used to prepare these boxes. The box, however, has one notable attribute. Aside from being extremely light, it keeps any food stored inside it perfectly covered and warm, as though it had just been freshly prepared, regardless of the outside conditions or how much time has passed. Due to this, Many people keep the empty box to store later meals, whether they were cooked by Blanche or not.